Hi guys, I have another side shop haul for you. Like I said, if you watch my other side shop haul, I do not really know what's in here. I do know the thing on the top. However, this is not from a child shop. This is from eBay. But apart from that, I think everything else is from the child shop. Again, do not know what's in here. So it's going to be a surprise for both of us. So let's get started. I have got one, two more hauls, child shop hauls to fill. That's how much stuff I've got and not hauled. And there's dust flying everywhere again. Anyway, this... I was looking for a white fluffy cardigan, I got one ages ago that Mark got me and I it was a white one but I accidentally put it in the wash with dark stuff and it sort of went grey and yucky. So I was looking for another white fluffy cardigan on eBay and because I couldn't find it in the child shops and I found this one. It's not, it is white and fluffy but it's also got black stars all over it and it is originally from Topshop, it's a size 10 and I just fell in love with it. I love stars, I love fluffy cardigans and this one's like nice and thick and I thought it would be really nice for now when it's cold but also nice for taking on holiday with me in the summer as like summer nights because I'm going on holiday in, in Scotland not like anywhere like you know crazy warm and it's like nice and thick because summer nights here do tend to get a bit chilly so it's just it's it's white it's fluffy it's got stars I love it it's from Topshop I really like Topshop stuff actually I find myself attracted to Topshop stuff in the charity shop However, I can't remember the last time I was actually in like an actual top shop. Also top man stuff. I like top man stuff and I'm attracted to that. So I just like the whole top man top shop type thing. This was £4, which I thought was really, really good. And the person said that they'd worn it like once. And so £4 for top shop worn once cardigan is pretty good. And it's kind of like charity shop prices anyway. So I just shoved that in the top to show you. <sighs> That's not been washed, nor has anything else in here, I don't think. So... I can get all this washed after I have finished filming. The good thing about not washing them is they have the tags on them so I can tell you exactly how much they were. This was a pound and this is, it's got crosses all over it. I don't normally wear things with crosses on it but there was something about this jumper that I really liked. Where did I say it's from? New Look. It's originally from, it says Knitwear 100% Love and it's from New Look and it's a size 12. And I do prefer a size 12 because I probably am, I used to be a size 10 but I'm probably a size 12 now and I like being a size 12. And I do like things to fit a little bit looser, but the cardigan's like oversized anyway, so I got away with it. Like, you know, you can get, I don't know why I'm explaining this. Ugh. Anyway, that one's a bit more oversized. This one, I definitely would need a 12 in it. it this one's oversized as well. I mean, it's pretty wide. I'm sort of peeking my head out of the side. Um, black makes the camera go all funny. It makes my face look even paler than it is normally. It's got white crosses all over it. I just really like this. I thought it was really, I don't like, I don't know, I don't normally go for cross patterns but I really like this and it's got a little turn up in the sleeve and it's just like knitwear and I just it would be cute for you know summer nights or during the day or whatever this I got not that long ago actually this I must have put onto the top of the pile this one doesn't have its tag on it but I think I remember it was like £2.95 and this is let me see let me see originally from River Island and this is definitely like a little summer blouse it's very sheer can you see that it's like very very sheer so I think you would need to wear like a little vest toppy cami type thing underneath it and it's just got these stripes and it's very lightweight and like thin it's not like a structured kind of shirt and it's got a little tie waist thing and I just thought it was really cute again it's oversized I don't really like anything that's fitted and it's got cute little gold buttons so it's like it's kind of like you're being a bit smarter but it's still like you know super comfy and it has got like that cat you can wear it with like denim shorts or whatever it's kind of casual right this oh Sorry, I get excited about nightwear. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I get really, really excited about nightwear, like bedtime pajamas. I don't know what, what am I explaining you, to you what nightwear is. You know what I mean? Like anything that you wear to your bed, dressing gowns, in any sort of like, I've got my jammies on, like I'm done for the day kind of wear. I like this is from, well, it's from the charity shop. I got it for one ninety nine, and it's from Marks and Spencers originally, and it still has the additional label on it so it is brand new however I will wash it sorry I'm wriggling back in my seat Um, yes I will wash it because it's been in the charity shop and even if though it's brand new with tags on it like it's still you know it's not it doesn't actually smell but you know like things get a bit fisty when they've been in the charity shop it's this fleecy nighty type thing like a sort of granny nighty type thing but it's got like it's got no collar but some buttons and I'm not doing a good job of showing you this. Look, I'm going to match right in with my bedroom. This is my bedroom, the pink, and I'm just going to look nice little accessory to my bedroom there. 
Um, yeah, it's long and it's not long like full length but it's pretty long. Spending a long time talking about a nighty, it's really soft and really fleecy and I just, I get excited about nightwear. These were from the brand, not the brand, the chad shop where everything is a pound and it still says a pound on it so you can see it there. These are in very good condition so you can see on the soles, I've not washed these or anything and you can see they're in pretty good condition. I like these. These are, they're kind of weird but I like them. Um, so they've got like a pointed toe like that, a little heel, not just a bit, maybe like a kitten heel type thing, maybe slightly bigger than a kitten heel, probably kitten heel. But they're like a mule type thing and they just fit perfectly and they're by the brand Moda and Pearl. Moda and Pearl, is it? Am I saying that right? I'll show you. There we go. Am I showing you or the light's not shining on it? I just really like them. I just, for a pound, they, they're just really nice shoes and they're like padded on the soles of them and they're just nice and I think they kind of go with everything because they're tan and I don't wear heels an awful lot but these are not a big heel and they might be nice for like going for dinner or something in the summer so there's them I think I'll just shove them down here because I've been filming video after video and my bed is to the left hand side there's just a pile of stuff now which I will have to clear off my bed before I get into it anyway this is oh yes so there was a couple of these i think there might be another one of these thing went about in the bag these were it says a pound on them but when but i did they were sitting in a little glass cabinet like this and i asked the guy how much they were he said 50 pence it wasn't until like i got home that i realized that he was meant to charge a pound because they've got a pound sticker on them and um, this is let me see mango body mist a light scented body mist for an instant burst of fruity mango and it says by quintessential british prep is that the brand i don't know I don't know but it's like a mango spray and I don't know if I spray I don't even think I s let's smell it Woof. oh that's nice that's really nice it's gone up like right up my nostril but that is actually really nice it's like a nice mango smell not like a some Mark's got this thing where he thinks that things that are mango or certain like blackcurrant and stuff smells like cat wee um, and now he's got me paranoid that like whenever I smell fruity stuff because I don't want it to smell like cat wee um, this does not smell, I can honestly tell you that this does not smell like cat wee and it looks full, it looks like it's never been used and it's 50 pence, it doesn't have the lid or anything on it but you know 50 pence and I thought, I didn't smell them but I thought if they're not like to my taste like to spray on me I just put them in the bathroom as like a little bathroom air freshener, that is what I do, I also do that with like sometimes buy perfumes and stuff from a chad shop and just have them sitting, they look nicer than the big like aerosol things and I just have them sitting in the bathroom, this is cranberry and cinnamon and let's have a wee smell oh oh i like that that has got the you know the sexy kind of man smell that has got a masculine smell to it i like that that is very nice that is by Enspa, which i think is asda am i right i don't know i think Enspa is is that asda's make i think it is it's very nice anyway this is probably like a christmasy one so where am i putting this we'll just put it down there Okay, next, definitely a summertime cardigan. This is originally from Topshop again. This is in a size 8, but it doesn't have any buttons or anything on it, so I thought I would get away with a size 8. I'm definitely not a size 8, but it's sort of loose and it's neon pink. Like a neon pink, almost coral, like a corally kind of pink. And it's got three quarter length sleeves and it's just a Topshop pink, bright pink cardigan and it's just cute. I just... It's the colour that really sold me on it. I really, really like it. It's in really good condition and it was a pound, so that is a pretty good deal. And I will wear that in the summer. It's very nice and bright. I don't know if that's, I think it's got, a, it's got a couple of, oh, is that a pull thread? I don't know if that's a, I don't want to pull it in case I don't know if that's a pull thread or if it's just fluff, but I can get, oh, and there's a feather stuck to it. Oh, maybe it's feathers. I think maybe it's last owner was a chicken but anyway if it's little pull threads i can get it off let's see what's next oh i forgot this is in here as well oh my goodness this is honestly like christmas like it's like going shopping again and like it's very exciting this was 1.49 and this is by the brand does it say um something carla mar uh, marta marla carla or marta carla Maria, Maria, Maria Car, Maria Carla, I think that's what it says. I bought this because, obviously not because of the name, because I didn't even know what the name was, but it's in the softest, like squishiest. I am, I love 
like buttery soft leather and this is buttery buttery soft leather it's got the zip here like zip pouch here and then here it flaps open and it's got a place for like your identification if you carry that and like two flat bits here and then like loads of coin things here and it says yes Maria they, okay it's much clearer here um, Maria Carla Italy it says there and it's just you can tell it's been like a really nice it's very nice quality leather it's lovely and it's extremely soft and it's in a sort of it's hard to tell when that light is shining on it it's like a dark grey kind of colour and it's just like really squishy soft I love purses and handbags and it's just so squishy soft and for £1.49 I think that's pretty good I'm running out of space in my bed so I'm going to put it there this I picked up for let me see a pound it says this is men's but I don't think it's men's because well maybe it is but it's quite small I picked up this belt I like the green colour of it I think that's pretty much the only thing that sold me on it it's elastic -y. so I don't wear a lot of belts to be honest I think I own one tan colour belt and that's it however I now own this which is a like it sort of looks like luggage it looks like a strap for your luggage but it's like a stretchy I like the green leather I don't know if you can see that there we go like I like the green leather and I like the fact that it was stretchy and it does actually fit my waist I'm pretty sure yes and I like the green leather so I got that next thing is let me see these have got the tag these were 1.99 these are size 14 it says but I tried them on they didn't look very big on the top so I'm probably like a size um 12 on the bottom I think yeah I'd say about 12 I never really know because I never I didn't even know what I weigh um I think it really depends on the brand I'm just tying the thing like that yeah the waist didn't look very big so I thought I would get away with it because I'm like I said I'm a I'm not a 14 I am a 12 but they're super stretchy the waist wasn't because you don't want to wear ones and they're like they're falling down you feel like you've got to pull them up all the time these don't they fit really really well and they are so comfortable and they're that you know like the bouncy stretchy material that I like and they've got that kind of I don't know what you call the Aztec I don't know if that's Aztec maybe Aztec I don't know we'll call it Aztec Aztec kind of pattern on it which I love and they're just super comfy and these will be perfect like a little hippie top in the summer and because you know I like me some hippie clothes for the summer and they just get a wide leg and they're just so so comfortable not that I'm going to wear wait till the summer to wear them because I'll probably be wearing them very very soon now that I've done this haul and I can wash them this was 2 .99 and it is from let me see it's a size 12 and it's from Marks and Spencer's this is these this has got shoulder pads in it which I kind of like because I don't know if this like you can see I've got really narrow shoulders so I know a lot of people don't like like shoulder pads because it makes you look broader I think I kind of like to look a little bit broader because my shoulder I've got quite a small I'm like relatively tall I'm not tiny I'm, I'm not tall I'm five foot six but I've got like really really tiny wee shoulders and I kind of like things that make my shoulders look bigger so I'm not one of these people that like cut the shoulder pads out of stuff I actually like them and they're not like overly huge they're just like a little bit padded but I like I like, I've got an 80s suit jacket thing and it's got shoulder pads in it and I love it anyway it's just a blazer like a checked blazer it's got little faux pockets that's definitely not a real pocket it's very casual so it's like cotton it's not like a rigid material do you know what I mean it's like cottony don't think this will ever need ironed because it's literally been sitting in the middle of that bag and it's not needed ironed and it's just like chuck it on with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans and I think it's going to look really really cute I'm not doing a very good job of showing you it like that so I'm sorry but I'm sure you get the gist of what it looks like it's just a checked little blazer and I can't wait to wear that it's a little bit cold for that yet we're still very much in I'm, I don't know I do this as if you can see what I'm looking at and like yes we're still in jacket weather and I'm looking at my jackets as I'm because I'm literally my bed's here and my wardrobe's here so yeah I'm looking at my jackets as I'm saying that but I somehow I feel as if you know that but obviously you don't and I'm just a crazy person right this love this love this this was originally from ASOS it's a size 12 love this oh what? I didn't say how much it was did I say how much that other thing was did I say how much the blazer was does it have a price did I say that 2 99 did I say that I probably did anyway three no oh, I'm gonna have a lot of washing to do um 3.99 this was but it was really worth it I love anything dungaree 
dungaree like, like a dungaree dress. I'm sure there's a word for that that I don't know. So it looks like, it, so if I show you, it's like a little skater skirt, except it's not, it's dungaree. It's like a dungaree dress, like dungaree skater dress is how I'd probably describe it. And at the back, it just, I think they cross over at the back, do they? Do they? Yes, they do. Doing a terrible job of showing you again. It crosses over at the back. It's just cute. It's just a little skater dress. It's again that like super stretchy material, so it's going to be like really, really comfortable. And I'm very much looking forward to wearing that. And again, this is an all year round piece because you could wear it with like a jumper underneath it, you know, like a sweatshirt and like chunky tights. And in the summer, you can wear it with a little t shirt underneath it and some little, you know, flip flops or Converse or whatever, or vans. I knew there was another one of these. This one does have the lid. Um, this is passion fruit, so it's the same brand as the mango one. Again, it was meant to be a pound, but you only charged me 50 pence. No cat wee. Not a hint of cat wee. Thank goodness, that's really nice. It doesn't actually smell like passion fruit. I would say it's a fruity smell, but I wouldn't necessarily like the said passion fruit. It's really, really nice. I like that. Whatever that brand is, RCH Style Society. So if you know where that's from or whatever, let me know, or if you see that you should get this. It's nice. It's a nice brand. I've never heard of it, but that's two of their scents, and they're very nice and very much not cat wee, which is always good. So remember, remember, just showed you dungaree. So the dungaree dress I said I had like anything dungaree, dungarees shock horror. These were, these were from a different trade shop, so how much were these? These were £3. These were originally from, let me see, Forever 21. They are a size medium. So I wasn't sure about these, like, were they going to fit? Are they not? I'm like, what is a medium? I don't know. Um, I'm just buttoning them up so I can show you better. So they're like a faded kind of, like a sort of distressed kind of faded at patches kind of black denim. Then the bottom is like frayed edges, so it's like unfinished kind of edges, and they're slightly cropped. And then the top is just your typical dungaree top, like that. They're like kind of like skinny fits. They're like skinny fit in the bottom, and then the dungaree top like this. I love these. I love these. And it turns out I must be a medium and um, what do you call it? Medium and just said it forever 21 because these fit me perfectly like literally perfectly and i love the fact that the bottom half are, is a, a, like a skinny fit jean it basically is like a perfect fit skinny fit jean with like dungaree tops so they're perfect for me and i love the fact that they're all distressed and stuff and again you could wear these you know like in the winter with like boots and stuff and a jumper or in the summer just like these with little flip flops and oh, or vans they'd look really cute in my black and white vans <sighs> and a white t-shirt. Anyway, what is this? I really, I honestly... Oh, right, okay. Oh, I forgot I got this. Um, this is originally from H&M. It says a size small. This was one ninety nine. Oh, it's quite oversized, so I think it's meant to be oversized. I don't normally pick up size smalls, but I think it's like oversized, but in me it'll just be not quite so oversized. I am a sucker for sweatshirts and anything khaki. Anything khaki, I'm agreeing to... Um, drawn to so khaki sweatshirt was sort of a no-brainer so i really like this it's not anything fancy it's literally just plain it's not anything i think it's slightly longer on the back yes i think the back is slightly or is it just the way i'm holding it does it really matter yes i think it's slightly longer on the back which is good because that'll cover your bum and this oh no this is not a this this is a these i remember these my mum was like diane what what are they like why why would you do that i am not joking i am so glad i love weird stuff i don't care i don't care who hates it i don't care who looks at me like i'm a crazy person i love weird stuff and i will wear weird stuff i love it i would rather have somebody look at me like what the hell is she wearing than like not you know what i mean i'd rather wear something that like do you know what i mean i don't care like i'd rather wear that than just be boring and not wear stuff that I'm excited about. Do you know what I mean? Like if I like it, I'm going to wear it and I don't care who looks at me like I'm a crazy person. These might not look that crazy just now. So these are high waisted, like really, really high waisted. They are extremely wide. They're cropped, extremely wide. 
these are just such well-made trousers. It says iris and in ink. I've never heard of it, but they're so well-made. Like they just, they look like they've been tailor-made to me. You know, you just try something on and it just fits you amazing. This is what these are. So they look quite small, but it's because like they sit up at the smallest part. They're just so comfortable and they're, the way they're tailored, they just, they're like pleated at the front. So where they, like, so your waist is here and then they start here down at the leg and they're like pleated. I love these. I forgot these were in the bag. I'm so super excited. I love these. And I think they're like a navy. It's hard to tell with this glaring lights blinding me and burning my retinas. Um, I think they're navy. I'm pretty sure they're navy. They look, I think they're coming off black and ca on camera, but I'm sure they're a navy. I love them. They're so weird. They kind of look like crazy like golfing trouser type things, but they're so wide. But they're so tailored like just with that pleat they're lovely i really 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 love them cannot wait to wear them these i picked up these are adidas these were in men's department i'm sure i don't think these have got the price tag on them but i think these were like two pound three pound at the very most these were in these are men's small and they're just adidas tracksuit bottoms so stretchy waist you know i love and they're Adidas with the stripes down the side and the gathered in ankle and I think they've got a zip. Do they have a zip? Yeah. So they've got, they're not the ones with the like popper or the zip all the way down but they've got a zip at like the bottom ankle and I just thought these would be really cool. I actually like the idea of wearing these with like a white t-shirt or white vest top and a sort of, you know there's like a sort of high heel if you know what I mean but not like a high high heel. You know the heels you get, they're like boots but they're shoes and they don't toes and they don't have a back do you know what I'm saying I'm a tongue like that but yeah wear that so kind of like mix and dressy with casual I don't know that's the idea I had in my head and I think this is the last thing I think now no it's not the last thing I also got this um no we're done no we're not done because I'm not sure Jim what was the story I was going to tell you I don't know something about Adidas tracks at bottoms I can't even think now don't know, it's gone. If it comes back to me, I'll let you know. Right, this was £3, which seems quite a lot for what it is, actually. Oh, and it's vintage. It is vintage. It's a, it's a vintage BHS, and it is this little slip skirt. I pick these up whenever I see them, and I always look for them. I love, love, love any sort of vintage slip. Or, oh, I just I love them. I think they're really, really lovely. And it's got lace around the bottom. So it's like satin, and it's got lace around the bottom. And it's got the vintage... I've got the hiccups now. It's very late at night. I think I will be making this video my last video of the night. BHS label, like look how vintage that label is. And it's just a little cute skirt one. I think that's so cute. Do you know what that would even look nice if you had like this and like an oversized like jumper, like woolly jumper kind of thing, and you wore that as a skirt like over it? Is that just me? <laughs> or that'd be nice, that's how I would wear it. I also wear them underneath dresses as well. I always wear, if I ever am wearing a dress, I'm usually wearing a slip underneath it. This is, it looks like leather. It is not leather. This is from New Look. Quite a few things from New Look this time around. Um, this is in a size 14. This fits me perfectly, so New Look must be kind of small. Um, three pound. I love this. It looks like leather. I don't know. It looks like leather, but it's like a soft... It's not like a cold material to some extent, you know, like a leather's cold to the touch, it's like soft. I don't even know what you would call it. It still looks like leather on camera, but it's not, it's like a cottony type material, but it does look like leather. And it's like an, what do you call it, an aviator jacket. And it's got like the sheepskinny, full sheepskinny lining, and it's just an aviator jacket. And it's just really nice, and it's got like zip details and the thing. It's just a really nice jacket. And probably a good job I did this haul because if I didn't do it right now I wouldn't actually be able to wear this because it won't be long until we are in fact I'm do looking at the jackets again until we are in fact out of all the jackets and I won't be able to wear sort of heavy jackets like that so oh on the pile <sighs> if I could just show you I have a pile I have got so much wash to do not tonight though it is I think it's bedtime I think we're I'm gonna I'm gonna say good night I'm not gonna film any more videos because if I do I'm just gonna be waffling on even more nonsense than usual. So I'm going to go just now and I shall speak to you guys very, very soon where I will be back with 
what have I got coming up? I've got a jewellery haul coming up. I've got, still got two bags. I'm looking at them again. I'm doing that thing where I look at things like you know what I'm looking at. I've got two bags, two more chance shop bags and an unusual handbag haul video. I do have a lot of handbags but I've got some really unusual ones that if you like sort of weird stuff that you might be interested in or you like handbags. I like both weird stuff and handbags. I do have a lot of normal handbags but these handbags are are pretty weird and kind of quirky. Anyway, that's what's coming up. I'll see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!